My name is Iwan van Ende. I'm responsible within Mio for the Cyclo series. I will present to you the Cyclo 505 HC product, a product which is created by and for cyclers. You have created a product which is complete, which means that you have the device in the box, but we also included for the 505 HC some accessories like the heart rate sensor, the cadence sensor, the bike mount, and the AC adapter and USB connector to connect to your computer. The device is a lightweight flat screen device which allows you to easily clean your device when it's raining or when you are cycling on a mountain bike. And it's obviously very easy to mount it on your bike. And you're ready to go. Why is the Mio Cycler product so easy to use? I take the example of the remote control of your television. There are about 30 buttons on it, but you only use five of them. Well, what we did with Mio is creating the device with only these five buttons. Once you buy the product, you have to charge it for a couple of hours. Once it has been fully charged and you can put it on the bike and you can start. Because we have pre-installed all the maps on your device. There is no need to connect your com to your computer anymore. When the device is started up for the first time, you have to go through the setup procedure. The first thing you need to do is select your language. End user license agreement, date and time settings, units, and then you have to fill in your profile. Here you can fill in the name, your weight, bike weight, birth date, and very important, the bike type you will use. It's very important to select the right bike type from the beginning to make sure that you get the right navigation. Depending on the bike type you have selected, our navigation will take paved, unpaved, cobblestones, whatever selection into account when he is doing some navigation. Later on, if you want, you can create a second profile. Next thing you do is calibrate the compass and you are in the main menu. From here, you can start navigating or create a surprise menu route. I will guide you now through the software and start with dashboard. This is comparable to the information you can see on your basic cycling computer. You are able to customize the information you can see via the settings within seconds. The dashboard also has the pre-installed maps, the OpenStreetMap and the Teleatlas map. The OpenStreetMap is being used for bike guidance, the Teleatlas map is used for address search and simple car navigation, so the device is ready to go out of the box. The second icon is the navigate icon. Here you see your home button, where you can insert your home address. The address button allows you to enter very easily an address to navigate through. Or you can pick an address we have selected before. What it does now is calculating the distance between your actual position and that address. You can also see here already the elevation map. We also display the bike type we have selected to make sure you get the right navigation instructions. The next function within the Navigate are the tracks. Here you can see all the tracks you have downloaded from MioShare. When you select one of the tracks, you can see the elevation, the average slope and the distance to the track. Here you see two different buttons, the closest point to the track and the start point to the track. This is unique, as other products usually direct you to only the start point. But why should I go to the start point? If I live five minutes, from the closest point of that track. It is also possible to navigate to POI. We have included in the Mio Cyclo bike-specific points of interest, locations you could need as a biker. For example, it often happens that you have a problem with your bike, so you can find the nearest bike store. But this also works for other categories. One of the unique and fun functions we have added into Mew Cyclo is the surprise me function. How is this function created? Very easy. I'm cycling already for more than 15 years, every weekend with the same friends. And always we have the same discussion. Where are we going? We always agree on the distance, but never on where we're going. 
The MeoCyclo Surprise Me function solved this problem. This feature creates three different tracks for you. You can enter a certain distance or a time. After the calculation, it will show you three different tracks. You can also see per track the different elevation with their maximum slope and you can just pick one of them. Now you will be guided on the Surprise Me track. During this navigation, you can see your elevation screen again, where you can see the information about the next hill and how easy or difficult it is. I just showed you how it works for a loop, but it is also possible to create a Surprise Me between two points. I give you an example. When I'm going from home to work and the distance is only 30 kilometers, I am able to create a Surprise Me of 50 kilometers. So between these two points, he will create me three different routes. And very important to say, as well for the loop, as for navigation, which surprises you from A to B, is that every time you do the surprise me again, you will get different routes. This is a very unique function, which people really like. <laughs>